Well, Emily, it's a wonderful setting here at, at your home. I mean, just to look out on that every day. It's, it's amazing. It's, a, it's just lovely. Well, we're going to go and take a look at your yard in just a few moments' time, but over there in the distance is the Hand Equestrian Centre as well. We can just about make it out. A home from home for you? Great to have facilities on your doorstep. Oh, it's fantastic to have such good facilities. A, a rider's dream, every rider's dream, definitely. And, of course, you can get the competition there, you can get the training there. It all works for you. Yeah, there's courses set up so I can just pop down. It's only five minutes away, so it's fantastic to have so close. Perfect. Well, let's go and take a look at a few of the animals involved. Let's go up to the yard. OK, no problem. Well, Emily, we're just alongside the fields, your, your yard just up at the top there. We've got some young horses here in the field as well being, well, if you like, prepared. There'll be another, I would think, at least 12 months off yet. Well, what have we got up here? Uh, these are the three-year-olds. We bought them as two-year-olds and they've been out for a couple of years. So they'll be um, ready to be broken now. The gelding is a Lux and the mare's a Lupacor, so good breeding there. Well, Emily, we've come up to your yard up at the top of the hill. Uh, wonderful yard. I mean, you've got a good number of boxes here, and we can see some of the young horses. Of course, you're going back down to the Hand Equestrian Centre very shortly to compete in the Young Riders class. But take us through some of the, the faces that we're seeing here at the moment. This is Candy. She's a five-year-old jumping newcomers at the minute. Um, she's very talented. She's coming on well. A bit difficult in her early stages, but she's getting there. Um, he's a new addition to the yard. His name's Carlos. He's a six-year-old by Carnut, so high hopes for him. And going on from there, I mean, I'm seeing some empty stables at the moment, but I see the names of Granisha and uh, several empty stables that I know have got your up-and-coming young horses, those that are, are really actually more or less at the top now. Granita, she's 10 years old. She's jumping all the 140s. I've had her since a six-year-old. She'll be in the young riders class later. And, uh, and looking down here, obviously you've got a good number that are in work. I mean, sort of six or seven, just looking quickly down the line. Uh, what is the, uh, the day involved with that? Because keeping all these horses at the top of the tree or, or progressing involves a lot of riding, a lot of, a lot of flat work, etc. Yeah, I ride probably seven a day. Then one will get hacked out. And my groom, Meg, she likes to hack them, so she gets to hack. And then the two young ones you saw earlier, they're just being lunged at the minute, so... <laughs> they get done every day-ish, maybe have a couple of days in the field in between when we're at shows and busy doing that, because it's hard to break them when you're always so busy. And Emily, we see a big string of horses down there, very good young horses coming up. What are the aims for you in, in 2009? What are the targets? Um, I'll be going in the first week in April to Barbizon. That's an international show. Um, and then after that, maybe to the Young Rider trials and if I do well in them hopefully I'll be invited then on Nations Cups etc. So it's just trying to get yourself there ahead of the British again. Uh, you were back in the teams in ponies and, and when you went to the European Championships took silver I mean there was quite some team you had that you went to the Europeans with. Yeah it, it was me, William Whitaker, Louise Saywell um, and Sarah Needham and I think Matt Sampson was a reserve so I really enjoy ponies. A real firing force there. I mean, what was that like competing with those guys now and, and knowing what they're, we were all going on to? It was nerve-wracking at the time. Um, we were a very close team and we worked well together, but I was nervous to be competing for Great Britain. And, and looking ahead, one of the ways of getting through to those teams and so forth is the young riders class that we're, we're about to see very shortly. Yeah. Uh, what is, who are some of the tips? Who, who should we be looking out for? Obviously, by yourself in there. Um, Hannah Paul, obviously, she's... Um, one of the top young riders um, now and then all the under 18s that are coming through um, off juniors to young riders I think they've got a good string so I've got good competition <laughs>